So here we go. It's the first of our women's matches in this evening's session. And it's Hina Hayata of Japan taking on Hungarian Georgina Pota. And they come for the con coin toss. Come again. Receive, receive, okay. Save. Referee Kalili just making sure that what the player wants is clear. You can see the speed here. All these players can do this in their sleep. Normal trading forehand to forehand and backhand to backhand in the knockup. Hina Hayata, of course, from Japan, 16 years old, was impressive in the 27 World Championships, where she historically won a women's bronze doubles medal. And here we are, Georgina Pota, ranking at the moment at 32, but she's been as high as 14, so she's let her ranking slip a bit. But hopefully here, she'll be putting in a good performance tonight for Team Rossi. So Referee Kalili Best there, of game. course, as you Go know from the previous match, sure. about to get us no. underway here. Wonderful view here. The Taraflex flooring. The big studio that we have here in the T2 Asia Pacific League. And it's the 24 minute match. And the clock will tick down. Usually we can get three or four sets in, but it depends how close the sets are as to how many of the sets will get in. Ayata has some interesting service deliveries. Quite talented when it comes to serving. Ayata will be looking to take some revenge on Team Rossi, losing to Cheng Ching. The last time these two teams met, 3-1. So she'll really be out for this match. Fellow commentators in the back there, as you can see, for the Asian population. important is it for both of these women to stay close to the table to play their game? I think more for Georgina Potter at the minute. She really needs to get to grips of the Hiata speed. If she can play with a little bit more spin into the middle, I think it will trouble Hiata. But if she get, just keeps playing on the racket, the Japanese will be favourite. Left, three, four. Interesting service delivery there from Hayata. Quite deceptive. Cutting under the ball, but after she's made contact with the ball, coming up with her racket. We don't see many women in the game today doing that kind of deception. The only one that fully comes to mind, of course, is world number one, Ding Ning. Really is a special case with her serves. What a talent she is. a good forehand we all know that's the weaker wing from Georgina so it's good that seems well oiled in the early stages of this evening's match yes. Team Rossi are up for this I don't know what Jörg Roskopf has given his team maybe some Red Bull but they've come flying out of the box here
is playing too much on the racket there. Tried to play down the line. Would have steered that one more into the middle as Hayato was moving back, trying to get her a little bit off balance. An interesting look now. The Pota backhand serve. Yes. Six. Trademark really. Heavy, heavy spin. A lot of deception on it. The action is really short, but she comes across it too, adding a little bit of side spin. Michael Mays, Team Mays showing his appreciation there, saying this is good. And it really was. Putting a lot of momentum into that backhand. just shadow playing in the background there saying push down in the ball don't stand up when you're blocking try to push down kill the spin yes. nice, nice variation from put up really great to see she has been playing some good table tennis the last time these two teams met she finished 2-2 with Feng Chang Wei to herself, former European junior number one, but we all know that being the top junior doesn't necessarily mean you're going to transfer that through into the senior game. Yes. Quick, close to the table stuff, and it's the Pota forehand it's won numerous points in this first set. Porta's forehand's just a little bit flat. Hayata just really yeah. doesn't know how to deal with it at the minute. She's used to over, over spin. Coming a little bit flat to her. She really just hasn't made up her mind on what to do yet. Well, it's game point now for the Hungarian. And that was a little Came bit back. fortunate there. Ayata getting the ball back somehow. Definitely wasn't clean out of the middle of the racket. Further game point for Georgina Pota. Shout of the light for Hina Hayata. That was a massive point to save. She was brave there, going back to the backhand. Two in a row. Not many would do that against the Pota backhand. A little grimace there. So it's sudden death, ladies and gents. No! And there it is. It's Hina Hayata that roars back to take this set. Sudden death, 11 points to 10. Your service. Time. 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 Unlucky there, Pota, but I think she's stepping a little bit too far away from the table. Her game is high class up close. She seems to stay in, use Hayata's power against her. She was lucky wow. there to get that point. She played right on Hayata's racket with not a lot of power. Just 
swatted that one away. Poetry in motion there. Just clubbing that one down. And if I can club it on my forehand, I can do the same on the back. You know, being very honest there, the referees didn't see that one. That's more like it from Porta playing into the right hip. She's played well in this first game and a half. Unfortunate not to take that first set. Cavern, and as they should be, this is Puta as at her best. Five on. Trying to get that one back, Ayata. Great to see the groveling qualities. Six one. This is definitely the best I've seen Georgina Puta on that forehand wing. Ahead from Hayata. Yes, I'm doing the right thing. Let's just keep pushing. Delay there just before she delivered the racket. That just added to the deception. Where am I going to hit this one? Yes. Look at what that point meant to Jorg Roskoff. You could probably hear him on screen. 6 2 to 6 4. Winning that point was crucial. He's one of our favourite coaches here. He really does play every shot with his player. Body bending and contorting as the players play each rally. Really does care about this team. So it's Pota opening up a four point lead. Just over 12 minutes to go. Four, nine. Adding to the eight points that she already had. With a very fortunate edge ball. Feet were moving Nine backwards, four. head was moving backwards. And that's why the ball just dribbled into the net. That's it. So five game points for the Hungarian. She takes it at the first time of asking. So another solid performance there from the Georgina Pota racket, especially again on the forehand wing. You can see there, walking over to your coach, he's still a little bit unhappy. Probably feels like it should be two games to zero, not one apiece. Really is playing well though, Pota. Probably a lot to do with the early practice she had the m this morning. Roscoff down with the team, feeding some multi-ball, getting his players prepped. Sometimes it's half long. You can start. Come on, go. Come on, Gina. Players, change side. No slacking when you're with your Roscoff and his team. They've been in the gym every morning. They've been out at the swimming pool doing lengths. That's what you want to see. Serious stuff out here in the cavern. Well, it's 
it's definitely helped them blend as a team. You don't see one without the other. Always chatting, having fun. That's what team spirit is, folks. They've been working so hard this week, we might not even recognise Paul Drinkle when he steps up to the table later on. Might be all of 50 kilograms, who knows? Lovely little service there. It didn't matter that it was drifting off the side of the table. The angle was enough. Potter really disappointed there. Just smashed in the last backhand. We'll see again. Just too quick and too sharp. Yep, there we go. Very good play, taking that ball early, exerting pressure on Hayata. Concentration. That's what it means to her. Cheap little point off service. Showing the house down from it though. Nice game, nice. Dog Roscoff appreciating that. Just saying to us player there, nice spin, and it really was. Many people will say Georgina Potter doesn't play with spin. I don't think they're watching this though. There's a lot of purchase on her serve, and when you do that, you can use that serve to really work into the next ball. Then eight minutes remaining. If it gets down to within less than two minutes of us ending, we would end up in a kill zone game, which would be first to five points at four all. We would just play a sudden death point. It really is who can put pressure on in the first couple of shots in the rally, isn't it? Absolutely. Whoever can keep close to the table, dominate the play, is usually the one to win. <laughs> Lovely nice little receive from Hayata there, setting up the point. Regina put it clipping the net, though. Good adaption from Hayata to steer the ball back in the table. ability when you can serve round both sides of the ball and that's given Hayata a five point <laughs> there we are takes it the first game point now I just said she was waiting more on foreign side service is okay you know same receipt no? replay the last wait. point and this is why we don't see Potter disappearing away from the table very often. Her game is up close, short attacking Time. style. 
Just Hayata pushing her back slightly in the Play last 68 points. It's always great when we see the coaches mic'd up so we can hear a little bit of them passing on their knowledge. All these coaches, Rossi, Mays, Jiang Jilian and Jorgen Persson have been all really high up in the world rankings. Hayata just finding her form here, but it really needs to stay a little bit close to the table, try to use Hayata's power against her. It's tough to try and fade that ball out there, isn't it? Sometimes it's better to just block the ball back I from where it's come from. Yes, yes, yes. Magic from Koda there, absolute magic. Really explosive power from her backhand. Mixing up the variation though. That's key. If she's just playing in one area, it's very difficult. Pota so over the ball, but Hayata ruthless at trying to get that ball back. Credit to Hayata though. She's learning to deal with the flat forehand of Pota. Change of pace here. Hayata staying closer than Pota now. Knows how crucial this game is. 3 1, better than 2 2. For one minute. Time out from your Groskov. 50 50 there. Three strokes. First three strokes. Wow. There's a start and a half for you. Push long. She starts not too fast. So go in the ball, not go back. Go in the ball. Mm. And a little, little bit more to the, to the middle, not too much to the corners. Huh? More to the middle. Nice little view really there of our 2 2 cavern. Yeah. Oh, Especially the second. Mikkel first Anderson it's okay, it's okay, changing seat in the back the when you're as important yeah. as him, a pioneer for the sport. Come on, you can pick and choose your own Everybody. seat, Everybody. ladies and gentlemen. When he was massive for the ITTF in their hopes squad and development of the youngsters. And now he's transformed this now into the T2 juniors here. Of course, he's an intricate part of the 2018 World Team My Championships God. in Hampstead. Keep an eye on that, folks. Yes, now, she's cut the Hayata momentum with that one. 5-1, now 5-2. Let's see if she can keep it up. Samara on her feet for her teammate. <laughs> Hayata pushing Pota back here. This is not a place Pota wants to find herself in. She's much better up close to the table. What can she do now? 6-2 down. Three minutes, four left on the clock. Clever no spin serve there. Of course, when you've got a backhand like that, you don't need a turn all the time. We may find ourselves. link between backhand first pivoting round for the forehand. You can see it's warm here. Okay. So six game points. And I think 
we will enter the kill zone. Interesting there, a big shout again from York. So at 10 6 now for Hayata. We've got less than 20 seconds. She better get a move on if she wants to get into the kill zone. This would be incredible. Pota slowing things down. That should be an automatic yellow card. It's horrible to see. So in here's the tactic there. Pota really didn't want to enter the kill zone. Didn't want to play another set. Didn't want to give Hayata a chance. That really isn't in the T2 spirit at all. Umpires are a little bit lax here all day. Calling into judgment and whether they know the rules or not. It's a little bit scary that. Did they forget their, their cards? I don't know. Anyway, some of the stats. Interesting there, the forehand winners from both players. 21 apiece. Backhand winners. Again, very, very close between the two players. And let's get a few of the interesting highlights from that match. It was Pota's forehand that was working so well in the first set and a half. And then it just seemed from there that Hayata started to get used to the game, started to work a bit more on service and receive. Michael Mia's happy with his player there. And it was thoroughly deserved for the Japanese player. Losing the first set, but coming back strongly to win Three sets to one. 